for the sake of all the people you've killed, I'm going to beat you! Hey, what's up guys, Wayne 93 here, and as kind of an attempt to get a bit closer to you all, I'd actually like to share with you guys my favorite character in all the Dragon Ball franchise. And, you know, it's kind of just a video, you know, trying to just, you know, get to know each other a bit more, and get you guys to know me a bit more, um, you know, just for all that good old stuff. And this is like a topic that I kind of wanted to do for a while, but I just never had the chance to actually do it, you know? So... Without wasting any more time, my favorite character is Goku. Yeah. So if you haven't like, you, like you have to know from like my YouTube profile pictures, my multiple ones if you're a long time subscriber, um, or just my YouTube page. Is this something like? I, uh, even my intro has Goku on it. It's just he is just my favorite character out of all of them. And I know a lot of you may be thinking, wow, that's such a generic choice. Or, that's, such, that's just because he's the main character, isn't it? Well, no, because unlike all, a lot of other people actually, I can actually give an actual opinion behind it and elaborate on my opinion. Well, Goku's personality is definitely one that I look up to. I realize that he isn't perfect, but I will always but will always do the best he can and will always give a positive outlook on life. As a boy, he's always so innocent, just exploring the world, meeting new people, learning new things, knowing the difference between good and evil, and never siding with evil and letting any of it have an, any kind of influence on him. He's actually really determined to get stronger and always ready to face new things. Really, Goku's character makes him someone that always has a great influence on others, whether it's in... Dragon Ball, or whether it's in real life, he always has like a huge influence on me, and, and that's one of the imp and he has it. Like I try to um, model a lot of my life after him because he's always so nice to people. It's just like wow, I people like him for that. So it's like I really like him for that. That's what that's just my opinion on it. It's not just because he's the main character. No, it goes right way past that, dude. So. <laughs> Goku's life is another thing I actually like about him, although I would never actually choose to live the way that Goku lives due to his preference of living in the woods, but when I say his life, I'm kind of just mean the story, and without going too much in depth to his story, because we should all know Dragon Ball by now, in Dragon Ball he's just a really ignorant kid that was just isolated from the rest of the world, then along the way meeting new people, both good and bad of course. And always trying to win the world tournament each year, he becomes a savior of the world and finally reaches his dream for what we know at the time of being at the world's strongest fighter. And then finding out in Z that he's a Saiyan that wasn't originally from Earth in the first place, explaining a lot of things. Facing with this revelation, Goku then has another threat in that he has no hopes to defeat and later on going to Namek, become the legendary Super Saiyan that Jit Vegeta just wouldn't stop talking about. Then later passing the torch onto Gohan, his own son, and then later once again becomes the savior of the universe. And I just find this story pretty amazing. You know, without... It always it has its faults, of course, but, you know, Dragon Ball is just... Oh, it, the story of Dragon Ball as a whole is just my favorite story to actually go through. <clears throat> so, and then, going past the Majin Buu saga, it's just like... Been facing his own battle with his own eternal self. You know, the, you know, the obvious one is Goku versus Beerus, of course. And when he gets the god form, he ends up becoming a god. But I'm just saying, like... When you actually think about it, when you watch Battle of Gods, in English, it, it makes it much easier to understand. When you watch it in there, it's just like he's facing a battle with his own self. And it's like facing his own pride as that gets even more exposed than it already is. Just a huge thing on pride. I might be looking a little bit too in-depth with it, but I just find it like that. You know, you know art comes to different art is a matter of perspective and that just came to me like wow that is really deep right there that's just me of course so that's my reason of why Goku is my favorite character so who do you think is my favorite villain it could be both from the series and the movies and also who's your favorite character of Dragon Ball comments below I would love to know and that's all I have for you today if you haven't already make sure you join the Super Saiyan army by subscribing to the channel 
for all content on Dragon Ball. Make sure you command me at that like button so <clears throat> show some support for the channel. My goal this year is to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I doubt it's going to happen, but you know, let's we can try to reach that goal together. So, I would like to leave goodbye for now and see you all in the next episode.